Hey guys, what's going on? It's Annie, and today I have an unboxing to do from Sponsor Me Tape. If you don't know, he used to make a few boards here and there, but I think he got really discouraged, so he stopped for the longest time. I think he just recently started up again, and I wanted to support him. I do want to point out there are blemishes on this, and I'm totally okay with that. But yeah, let's just get into this, and then I can talk my way through it. In this piece of paper, he already wrote, this graphic is a blem application. I hope you mentioned that if you do an unboxing, but I hope you like the deck otherwise, Jared. I know how picky people can get when it comes to boards, so I wanted to get the blem deck. First of all, to show that his graphics are pretty cool, and I know not many people do unboxing, so I really wanted to do this to support him. And I also know that because people are picky, that like I just wasn't sure if anyone else would be willing to buy the Blum deck since it's not like a huge deck company yet. So another thing I should mention is that the board company is called Decature Decks. It's obviously still under SMT and Jared, but just a different name, the same way that backer bushings are a different name and stuff like that. A ton of stickers. I didn't, I didn't expect a ton of stickers. So obviously got a sheet of sponsor me tape here. Some new stickers, some sponsor me tape stickers. These are new. I've never seen these before. I actually really like the circle. Bunch of other sponsor me tape stickers that we've seen before. Some bigger vinyls. This one. So just the size comparison. This is a big and a small. So that's the board inside the packaging. Got another sheet of sponsor me tape in there as well. And then here's the board. So as previously pointed out, the graphic is obviously blem application, like the edges. I think also what happened was he didn't sand down the edges. There's like wrinkles and stuff like that, but it's not going to impact performance really. So that's why I bought it because I know that the graphic isn't going to affect it. So the I think it's like a ship graphic with the Decature logo there. And then on top, Decature. I told him it kind of reminded me of the old Decade stamp on top. But I mean, here's the thing. The actual deck itself, minus like the graphic, looks really, really good. Like everything else about this feels very polished. But the countersinks are perfect, nothing wrong there. Everything is sanded properly apart from the graphic. The shape is also... You know a lot of startup companies for decks, their boards kind of look weird because of, you know, like the mold isn't properly done, so there isn't much of a shape to it. Whereas this board obviously has a very distinct shape. Like, it looks like a proper deck, so... I bought this board for 20 bucks. And he told me that if the application hadn't been messed up, he probably would have sold it for 30, which I think is pretty reasonable. But yeah. So this is a 34 millimeter, I believe. I forget what the size is. Yeah, it's a 34 millimeter. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up and just give you guys my first impressions once I've set up the board. Hey guys, this is Editing Annie here. So it's worth mentioning at this point of the video that not only is this video three weeks old, but I also snapped the board two days after I got this deck. Before snapping it, I absolutely loved the deck. I really liked how it felt. And you'll hear more about that in this next section of the video where I do like a mini review. I was at home drinking with some friends and I accidentally stepped on it. But the next time Jared comes out with a stock, I'm definitely gonna get another one and you should too if you can. For now, I guess just enjoy this first impression slash mini review. Okay, so I just set this up like an hour ago. It feels really, really good. I will say it feels a lot like a unique, except the concave isn't so much the same. I think just like the kicks and the dips make it feel very much like a unique, like a juvie shape. It is lighter as well. It's a lot thinner than a unique. I have this set up the same way I have my Stella board set up. So that might be why they feel kind of similar. The shape is pretty legit. I really like it. 
So in terms of setting it up, I will say that when I was applying the tape and the tape got onto the bottom of the deck, this happened. I'm not really sure why that happened because that's happened with my other boards before when I set them up where I, like the tape sticks to the bottom of the deck but the graphic doesn't come off so I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe the heat transfer just wasn't like perfect or something like that. Yeah, I mean, first impressions are the board is really good. If he does a restock or when he does a restock, I definitely recommend you get one if you can. I also realized that I never showed you guys the plies. The two plies there that are sort of like a pretty cool grain, so I thought that was really nice. And I really made this setup almost color-coded. I didn't use Sponsor Me tape for this setup because in my Wush unboxing there was two pieces of tape that were like stuck to the box and or like the envelope and so like part of the tape was ruined and I just wanted to get rid of that tape and use it so I put that on this board. But yeah, I really like the board. Go support Sponsor Me tape, backer bushings, and decature decks. All the links will be in the description. And I've done other unboxings, so you can go check that out here on this card, the last Sponsor Me Tape unboxing I did. Go check out all my other unboxings if you haven't already. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.